Welcome to Online Scribblers. This tutorial will show you how to log in and to access your home page. Begin by clicking on the login button on the top right hand corner. This is the login page. On this page you'll be asked to enter your username and password that you have found on the introductory email sent out about a week prior to the class start date. Your username and password are both case sensitive, so take care when entering them. In this case, we're going to enter the username and password for a pretend student. The username is pretend, and the password is student. There we are. Now we're on our class home page for pretend student. The home page gives you a brief welcome. It outlines some of the things that you'll encounter on each page of your class, and at the very bottom, you'll see My Courses. These are the courses that you have registered for the current semester. And in this case, Pretend Student is taking one class, writing the five paragraph paper. If Pretend Student were taking two or three classes at the same time, all three classes would appear here. So in this case, we are not going to look in the class site because we'll do that on a different tutorial. Instead, let's go to the top and get to know our home page. The home button key here, you'll see I'll click it and it'll take you right here to our home page. Anytime that you want to come back to this section to look at your profile or to access a different class, you're going to want to come up here to the home key. And that's going to be available on your class page and on every page of the site. Let's look at the my home button. Okay, so here you'll see that this is a course overview. Whenever you click on my home, it'll take you to the course overview. And in this case, it's showing you all of the work that is available at this point for pretend students. In this case, it's showing week one work. Week one has a journal, it has an assignment, it has an introduction section, and it has a question section. What do you think? There's also, also other parts, um, but those aren't going to show up here because they're lessons and they're not going to show the completion. But here's where you want to look to see has the teacher looked at what you've submitted? Have you forgotten to submit something? This is a great place for parents to log in once a week or so and see if their child is keeping up to date. You can look right here, Journal 1. It tells you the due date and it tells you whether it was submitted and whether it's been graded. Parents, by taking a quick look here, can decipher if their student is on time with their assignments. Um, as the weeks go on, this course overview section will get much longer because there will be one of these assignments introducing yourself throughout the whole eight weeks. So this is a really great place to come and check in regularly. Okay, let's go back to the home page. Let's go down to my profile. Let's view our profile. This is something you're going to want to do as soon as you get on the page. This is your basic information as I've entered it when you registered as a student. I've done my best to enter your information exactly as it was provided to me, but you might find an error and then I'll show you how to correct that. Okay? In this case, pretendstudent at gmail.com is the email. If you decide at any point that you want to change the email associated with your account, perhaps you want to add your own email instead of your mother's or you want to add your dad's email instead of your mom's, you can change that here. This is the basic email where communications will go. Okay, you want to make sure you're entered in the right class and you want to make sure that your town is updated correctly. Okay, um, there's also a spot for your avatar and I'm going to show you later how to put your avatar or your photograph up there. Okay, we can either go back to home or we can go back down here to other parts under my profile. Okay, forum posts, we'll explain that later in another tutorial when we're learning how to use your class. Okay. Let's look at messages. Messages are a very important part of the class. This is how you communicate one-on-one -on -one with your teacher. Okay? Um, you'll also see over here in the right-hand corner, there's a spot where your messages will pop up for you also, so you don't have to actually click on messages on the left, but you can see them at a glance. That's how important they are. So you could either click on messages here or click on messages here. Okay, here's your message. Uh, Part of the class. You'll see right now you only have one contact and that's me. That's your teacher. 
So to add new contacts, or let's say you introduce yourself and you see a new friend that's taking the class with you, you could enter their first name here, because you won't have access to their last name, and then you could search. And once that person pops up, you can invite them to friend you, and then the only way that you can communicate is right through this page. Okay. Um, in this case, though, you're friends with your teacher. And let's say you want to send your teacher a message. A good reason to send your teacher a message is if you're confused about any of the lessons, if you're confused about some feedback you got, if you want to let the teacher know that you're running late on an assignment because you've been sick or you're out of town or whatever happens. These are all really good reasons to contact your teacher. Okay, Some students just like to check in and say hi, and that's great too. I always like to hear what you're doing and what you're up to. So in this case, let's click on the contact that you want to be in touch with. Okay, okay. So here, you can see that there's been some conversation between the student and the teacher. The last contact was, the student said, I've been sick this week. I don't think I'll be able to finish my assignment today. I'll turn it in by Monday. And you can see here that the teacher said, Hi, I'm sorry you haven't been feeling well. Get some rest and message me when you submit the last assignment. Taking care of yourself is most important. Feel better. So this is the kind of contact that we're talking about. Other students can contact and say that they don't understand why there belongs a comma uh, in a compound sentence before the word but. And if you contact me with that, I'll do my best to explain it to you. And we can go back and forth until we get that figured out. Okay? So here's another spot to add your message. You might just write back here and say, thanks. Okay? And then you send the message. And that's all there is to it. There you go. And it's been sent. So let's go back to the home page now because we're done sending our message. Okay? Let's go under my profile again. All right, we've taken care of everything there. My courses, it's just going to show here again that you've been entered in the five paragraph paper class. So instead of scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the page here, you can also access your classes at the top. Let's move up. There we go. Okay. Now let's look under settings, my profile settings. This is something you might only access once during the entire duration of your course, but it's important to have a look. Let's look at editing your profile. Okay, this is an important place to look. Make sure all of the information that I've provided here when I registered you is accurate. If I've misspelled your name, feel free to change it. Here's where you can change your email address. Okay, right here. Now, everyone's email should be set to this privacy setting. Hide my email address from everyone. That's the default setting that I put all of, all of the students at just to provide privacy. If you'd like to change that, you can choose one of the other options. Okay? All of these are choices you have. I have them on the basic privacy settings. All right. Now, if you come down here, here's where you can add your avatar or your picture. If you'd like to use a picture to identify yourself and let it be seen by other classmates and your teacher, simply click on Add. Choose your picture file or choose an avatar of your choice and you're going to add it right here. Right? It's not necessary. It's fun for some kids to add. Not everyone has to do it. It's up to you. Okay. <clears throat> I would leave all of this blank and then I would update your profile. Right? That ensures that your profile is accurate. Here's where you can check it out again. All right. Let's go back to home. Let's go back down to settings. Let's look at changing your password. Okay, so changing your password is an option you have after logging in the first time. If you'd like to change your password, add the current password just the way I gave it to you, and then change your password here. All right, make sure it meets the criteria listed on this line here. The only thing that I ask is that if you change your password, please be sure to write it down in a safe place so that you have access to it at all times. Maybe even give a copy of it to your mom or your dad so that they can help you if you lose it. I won't have any access to your new password and if you can't log in for some reason you'll have to contact me to create a new one and I'll send it to you. All right? In this case we're going to leave pretend student with their current password. So we're going to cancel this. 
OK. Let's go back to home. Let's go look at those profile settings again. All right, messaging, we've already looked at that. All right, down here, you'll see the spot that says online users. This will show you current users uh, from your class or maybe another class that you're not enrolled in, as well as your teacher. And if they've been logged in currently or in the last five minutes, it will show up here. All right, so that you know um, either it's a busy time and everybody's online working, or you can see that the teacher's there and it's a good time to message her as well to get a quick response. So that is the tutorial on how to navigate your home page and log into your class. You can find another tutorial that will show you how to navigate your actual class and how to submit work and find your feedback.